Hi guys, Mr. Roth Waffles here. It's something like six in the morning right now, okay? We've just finished the Origins Easter egg for the first time. We've watched the cutscene a couple of hours ago now. For the first time, we've completed it. Everything is, for the first time, it's, it's, it's all done. And I just wanted to make this video basically just to highlight something. Since World at War, I've been very much a fan of zombies uh, since Knock Around Toten when it came out and I would go over to a friend's house that didn't even have a console and I'd play it and I was hooked and we'd play Nacht and get to like 23, 24 and just do it over and over again. And then Verrugt came out and I was like, damn, this really is something now, isn't it? And then there was Shinonuma and there were places like CallOfDutyZombies.com that was popping up and going, hey, there's actually something going on here. There's a theory that I can make about this, that, and the other. There's a storyline. And then we move on to Dereze, and it's like, bam! Suddenly, information left, right, and center, all over the place. And everyone's like, holy, holy crap. This is something. I've been with zombies since then. I've been with the storyline since then. And we then moved through Black Ops 1. And we had all of that. That was a saga unto itself. I mean... A lot of people joined the community then, and missed World at War. Uh, and it's a shame, I feel like those people missed out, and they aren't quite as, perhaps, rounded in a sense in terms of memory, not in terms of knowledge of a story or whatever, but they don't quite, I don't think, have the same sort of feel that us World at War long-time fans have. Um, Black Ops 2 has come and gone now. Origins is out, we've finished the easter egg, it's done. It's the end of an era in very much many a sense. It's also the beginning of whole new theories, whole new storyline possibilities and things like that. And I just want to say, Treyarch, you have done an amazing job, okay? I have been with you, essentially. Uh, you have been carrying me in your arms. For five years, really, since World at War. 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's been a long, long time, and I've invested much of my life, really, into this game, this saga, this community, this just general whole situation, really. And... I watched the ending cutscene, and I cried. I'll be honest with you, because I'm not ashamed to admit it. I don't care if people in real life come up to me and go, Oh, you cried in a video game, whatever. It's not about that, I don't care. Because I've invested a lot into this, and the cutscene was crazy. And it blew my mind. And I did... I didn't have it leaked for me, luckily, I, I managed to avoid spoilers by just not reading Twitter or... I, I did basically didn't use the internet while we were doing the easter egg. I mean, I tweeted a little bit, but I couldn't really read... I couldn't read YouTube comments, I couldn't read my Twitch stream chat, so I couldn't stream. I couldn't read websites, I couldn't read anything because of spoilers. And... So when it... And, and luckily managed to stay spoiler free, and so when it first hit me... It was really my. It was a shock, and uh, yeah, I said I shed some tears, and that's perfectly okay. But I, I just wanted to say, Treyarch, have you've done really? You've done a service to yourselves because not only have you kept your, yourselves in work, that's always a good thing, but you have made certainly myself. You've made me very happy indeed, as I'm sure you have many, many other fans out there. Uh, it's really been quite a tragic ride in some senses, how we go from the grandeur of Moon to Transit, which wasn't exactly a fan favorite. And it's been a bit bumpy with the new characters. And we go back and we have the 04, and we have Samantha, and we have Maxis, and we have Maxis dead, but in a drone, and we have Agatha, and we have these staffs, and then we free Samantha. And then we see the end cutscene. And it's just like... It was really beautifully done, in my opinion. 
and I just wanted to say that in a video as best I could. Um, I, I'm, I'm just sort of stunned, really. I have seen a lot of people angry about the cutscene. Um, a lot of people in the community who've maybe joined during Black Ops 2, maybe they've joined the community sort of towards the end of Black Ops 1, or even the beginning of Black Ops 1. Um, the community was really, really great in World at War, but Black Ops 1 is when the sort of... I don't know what to call them, the weeds started to grow, I guess. And... They're there, the weeds, and it's a shame, but... Alongside those, there have been other people that have joined, but they still don't, I feel, have quite the same appreciation for quite where Zombies has come from. And... It's just, this is a beautiful ending to Black Ops 2. It really is. We've still got ciphers to uncover on the map. Polys to pop. Uh, and all sorts of things to do. I've hardly slept since the map has come out. Because I've been working on the Easter egg, toiling and toiling away. We got it done. And I'm happy. The cutscene was brilliant. And Treyarch, good job. See you in a year's time, I guess. Well, that's really exciting. Okay, anyway. I've missed Rough Waffles and I just wanted to sort of explain why... Because a lot of people are going to ask, no doubt, why are you so upset when you're watching the cutscene? And I'm kind of sort of half laughing, half crying, because... It's sad that this beginning, Origins, has ended. It's also sad that Black Ops 2 has ended. But in many ways it is the beginning of new theories and possibilities and storyline opening ups and wherever we want to go. And I think it's just been really beautifully done. I've been Mr. Roth Waffles, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, leave a like. If you haven't, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you some other time. Okay, bye bye guys. Sorry if I look like crap by the way. It's like, like I said, 7 in the morning. No sleep. Been working to try and bring you content. <sighs> the grind of being a YouTuber, eh? See you later guys, bye bye.